Tarots and welcome back to my channel, Courtney Ambers Tarot. For those of you who are new to the channel, please do me a huge favor. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below along with the notification bell. That way you can be notified anytime I go live or post new content. All right, Scorpios. So this is the X or the next. So basically this reading is just to give us a general idea of what happened in the recent past between you and the past person. And what is the advice moving forward? Should you go into a new connection? Um, should you wait for new love to come in? Or you might want to give them a little chance, Scorpio. But I doubt it. So let's hop right in and see what happened between you and this person in the past. And how they're feeling about you now. And what is the advice in regards to this connection? All right. Let's do it, Scorpio. I'm ready. All right. So, let's see. What messages do we have for the sign of Scorpio in regards to the X? X. What happened between Scorpio and the X in the recent past? What happened between Scorpio and the X? Let's see what happened. Lust. Scorpio. Scorpio. Lust. It was a sensual seduction. Look at that. Alright, Scorpio. Well, it is what it is. What happened between Scorpio and the past person, please? Lockbox. Closed and trapped or frustrated. Um, Scorpio, I feel like this is your energy. You may have felt trapped by this person, but this person was very sexually attracted to you, whoever this is. Also, Scorpio, please do keep in mind that the message will not resonate with every single Scorpio. So please check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign. Okay, okay. You are frustrated in this connection. I got too many. We have realization, awareness, finding out, coming to light. You felt trapped and I feel like you came to a realization that you weren't happy here. Scorpio, for a lot of you guys, even though there was a lot of chemistry, right? Um, let's see, what happened between Scorpio and the past person? We have drastic, you had to cut this connection off. Because for some of you, it was draining you, which is why you were very frustrated. You felt very trapped, closed in. Um, because, you know, it was more of a soul tie than a soul mate connection for a lot of you guys. So y'all had to just take some extreme action and just cut it off for some of y'all. Yeah, we have lost. For some of y'all, your person cut it off um, abruptly. They cut it off. We have ghosted, blocked, or cut off. Look. We have denial, not facing the truth. I feel like this person didn't want to admit that, that um, you both were unhappy here. And the only thing that was binding you to was a strong, like, chemistry, you know, sexual energy, chemistry, physical connection. It wasn't a deep soul connection. It was more physical. We have children. For some of you, you may have been married to this person, may have had children with this person, Scorpio, and that's what kept you two together. Like I said, there was chemistry here. You always have chemistry with somebody that you have children with, right? But for you, you felt like you were on lockdown, especially if you're married and this reading resonates for you. You felt trapped by this situation. You were only in it because you had children and you didn't want to just up and leave. And you didn't want to do anything irrational also. So I feel like for some of you, your counterpart ended up leaving because they felt trapped. They may have felt trapped here. And they wanted to go out and explore their options with a desire here and sexual energy and see what was out there. For some of y'all, that's a storyline for a few of y'all Scorpios, not everybody. But yeah. I feel like most of most of this, most of this reading is for you, Scorpio. Like cross watchers, if you get a message, great. If you don't, that's fine too. Right? Take what resonates and leave the rest. Like I said, it won't resonate with everybody. 
But, um, cause this is just a general reading, the X or the next, but, um, yeah, you are feeling trapped in this situation and you realize that you realize that you needed to do something to get out of this situation. And I feel like you just cut it off. You may have moved, relocated, but for some of you, you had children with this person. Interview, interview, talk, conversation, get on the same page. That was a problem. I feel like you you two didn't really know each other in the beginning of this marriage or this connection for some of you, this relationship, Scorpio, which is why things started fast and ended faster. I don't think you two are on the same page, really, is what I mean. Yeah, there was a lot of toxic energy here with poison. Toxic, unhealthy behaviors, unhealthy people. Like I said, somebody, for some of y'all, somebody had somebody on the side and you found out about it. You may have been in denial at first, but then you realized shit we're married so i might be stuck in the situation what am i gonna do i gotta file for a divorce and i gotta get custody of my children right for some of y'all this is this is not for everybody but for some of y'all you were just in a connection with, with someone that you had children with and um you became unhappy you were you were very frustrated because you two weren't on the same page when it came to your happiness when it came to um building your family and what you wanted moving forward we have yeah wholeness yeah what you wanted. This relationship was toxic. All of this love is toxic. Right? Problematic. You know that is always problematic. Let's see. Interlude. So you had to take a break from this situation. Scorpio, for a lot of y'all, wow, this is particularly a divine masculine was causing the problem. A masculine was causing the problem here. Got divine masculine here. Um, for some of y'all, this person cared about appearances, threatened. We have this person appearances. This person, um, they they like the idea of you, but not so much the connection. <clears throat> waves it was it's like a roller coaster yeah look at there somebody somebody had an affair love affair is here dirty little secret down low if you're playing me keep it on the low because my heart can't take it anymore yeah somebody had a little, little love thing going on scorpio on the side so yep moving physical location so yeah some of y'all got up and left y'all was like deuces and so as soon as you left as soon as you left look who come rolling in who let the dogs out bounty hunter chaser and hot pursuit here comes that masculine i swear it's, it's like bloodhounds they can smell once you've Realize your inner strength once you are standing in your power, you're independent, you're doing the damn thing, and you're you're done with the foolery. It's like they can smell it. It's like, oh, I know what I lost. Let me go try to get it back now. Whatever, right, Scorpio? Whatever. Let's see. Um, what advice? What advice do we have for the romance angels? Let's see. Holy Spirit, divine source. Please let me see the messages for the sign of Scorpio. What advice do you have for them in regards to the ex? What advice do you have for them? Yeah, I feel like Scorpio, y'all made the right decision here. Just looking at this storyline. For those of y'all who are in this situation, this storyline applies to you. For those of you who would resonate, you did well to move away. Because your emotions were like up and down, up and down. This person had you on an emotional roller coaster. Mm -hmm. Especially... If you found out about a love affair. Let's see. This came out in reverse. Give this relationship a chance. Nope. Spirit said no. Mm -mm. Nope, don't do it. We have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. We have let your friends help you. And we have separation. And we have children. Like I said, for some of y'all, y'all had children with this person, Scorpio. 
And that was, you know, the main reason that you stayed stuck and trapped in this situation. But for some of y'all, y'all got out. And, and if you haven't, some of y'all need to get out. We have separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. This could be indicative of a divorce, you know, a legal situation, if that's the case for some. We have let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. Like I said, you may have to go hire an attorney. You may need to speak to someone to find out what you need to do if you're married. If not, um, you may need to file child support if you have children with this person and you're trying to separate. Whatever you need to do, but it says forgiving and learning. You've got to heal from the past so that you can move forward, right? So that you can live your best life in the present, Scorpio. But it looks like for some of y'all in the past, whatever, like recent past, y'all dealt with somebody and you realize that this person was not who you thought they were, Scorpio. So I'm going to say, with that being said, it's time to move on to the next, not the X. So, Scorpio, that's been your monthly reading for the X or the next. Um, if you'd like to book personal reading with me, please go onto the website, AquarianEmpressTarot.net. Um, please subscribe. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to email me at AquarianEmpressTarot at gmail.com. Love you guys.